Okay, so I have Chance here, and what we're doing is we're going to teach Chance table. So at first, I'm going to act like he does not know table, which he does. So I'm gonna take a lure uh, piece of food, and I like to use the lower ones when you start off. With puppies, with bigger dogs, it doesn't matter. Some dogs are super nervous to walk on the table. So even if they put one paw, we're gonna take that. So I'm not saying anything at this point. I'm luring him on. And then I can throw a tree or two for him to come up. Good. So he's really getting this now. So now I'm going to see if I can get a sit for him after he comes on. And as he walks on, I am going to add the cue because he does know this cue. Chance. Table. And then to get him off, I'm going to actually start prepping him to learn what off means. So I'm going to take a tree. He's already off, too late. Chance, table, off. Good boy. Chance, table, yes, off. So now I'm gonna try without any food. Chance, table, chance, off. So I'm gonna say once I'm gonna wait for him. So you see he doesn't have a clear understanding of what off is or he would have jumped off. Off which is super important for us to test that to see if he knows chance, table. I'm gonna try again, I'm gonna help him out. Chance, up, almost, good boy. So now I'm gonna try the bigger one. So again, you can stick with this one the whole time. You don't even have to switch to the bigger one. Some older dogs like to use the bigger one, some bigger dogs, it's easier. Chance, table. Even puppies, just make sure with puppies you're only using the lower uh, climb. 